Hello everybody once again. We are now at Lab 12, <clears throat> CCMP T-Shoot Lab 12. My name is Terrence Warren, Cisco Tutor Guy. And thus far, so far from 1 to like maybe 10, um, the ticket instructions have always been client 1 can't reach the web server 209, 65, 200, you know, yada yada. But it was always the web uh, client one can't reach the web server, and the web server just happened to have an IPv4 IP address. This is where things change because now we're having uh, IPv6 issues. So this is an IPv6 ticket. So the instructions are going to be a little bit different. Now on the exam, you know, people have asked. How will you know which one is the IPv6 and the IPv4 issue? Well, in the instructions, it tells you when you, if you see an IPv6 address in the instructions, then it's an IPv6 ticket. If you get client one cannot connect to the web server and it's an IPv4 address, then it's an IPv4 ticket, and that lets you know where you should which t which topology you should be looking at you know, to start your troubleshoot. So, with that being said, um, there are maybe three IPv6 issues on the exam. Um, I can't remember which. I think there's one on each router. R1, R2, and R3. Maybe R4. But you want to look at the routers. Alright, at, at least definitely. So, the ping plan isn't, you know, it, we don't use the ping plan for the IPv6 issues. All right. So let's get started with working this issue out. All right. So by now, we've already found all the issues on R1. So. We don't have to look at R1 for any more issues. You know, once you get an IPv6 uh, ticket, you don't have to look in R. Uh, you don't have to look in R1. You know, but then again, remember these tickets are random, and I don't know which order you get them in. But since I've been going pretty much in, you know, uh, in order, we've already found all the R1 issues. So we're gonna just start. From R3, I mean R2, R3, and R4. So there, there's what we're gonna look. So starting from R2, and remember our instructions is DSW1 and 2 or plus R4 is unable to ping the IPv6 address on R2's loopback and serial uh, 0 .0 .0 .0 000 0 0.0.12 interfaces. Also, R2 is not an OSPF version 3 neighbor of R3. So anyway, those are the instructions. We see the IPv6 issues. So we're going to go ahead and start at R2. So we're going to get into the command line of R2 and do a show run. And what, are, what we're looking for is we're going to look on the, we're looking for the serial 0, .0, 0.0.0 interface. So that we can see if there's anything that don't look right, and we know to look at the serial interface because that's what's in the instructions. So let me go back up. All right, here's a serial 0.0.0.23 interface. Um, let's see. Point to point, uh, IP address, frame relay, IPv6 address, and clock rate. All right, now I'm looking at that. Now I'm looking at this serial 000.12, and I'm noticing something in the the. Uh, Serial 000.12 interface that's not in the 000.23 interface. This line right here. 
We have IPv6, OSPF6, Area 12. But on this interface, we don't see OSPF IPv6 even configured anywhere on this interface. So that is the issue. In their instructions, they mention OSPF, but there's no OSPF configured on serial 000.23. So that's the problem. That's the issue. So let's check our answers. Answer one. Problem is on R2. Just like I stated, we're on R2. Next. The faulty technology, or the technology was IPv6 OSPF routing. And finally, on three, the third, <clears throat> IPv6 OSPF6 area zero is not configured on the 000 0.23 interface. Now, in Packet Tracer, I could have simply added it and then we could do it, you know, but by this point, <clears throat> I didn't want to just go ahead and add it. Uh, just I'm just going ahead and finding the issue and then verifying that with the answers. And like I said earlier, on the exam, you don't have to fix anything. All you have to do is find the answers, which is what we're doing now. We're just finding the, we're finding the issue and then verifying the answers. So, with that being said, that concludes lab 12 of the CCMP T-Shoot uh, lab. So, once again, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you grasp the concept and the idea of how we're finding this issue, these issues. Remember, when you start seeing the IPv6 issues, the routers that you're going to check are R2, R3, and R4. Because R1 would have already had four issues that was in the IPv4 topology. And I would advise you to download the topology either from the Cisco website or the CiscoTutorGuide.com website and familiarize yourself with the T-Shoot topology. So uh, once again, my name is Terrence Warren, uh, Cisco Tutor Guy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.